What are some of the best ways to die? No, I don't mean the old boring ways of dying like wiping to a raid boss or pulling too many elite mobs at once. This quick little video will go over 10 very unique ways of dying. Number 10. Death by Items A fan of mine sent in a story that goes a little something like this. There I was, a new level 19 tune who had this cool level 80 death knight come up to me. He gives me an item and tells me to use it. Seeing as he's this awesome max level player giving little old level 19 me the time of day, I was excited. So I open up trade and take this strange item he's giving me. Maybe it's a rare buff, or maybe a new spell that will make me just a little bit as strong as him. I don't know, I'm a new player and everything is wonderful to me. So I click on the item and immediately die. The item in question from the story was called the Dark Rune. The Dark Rune is a rare drop from the Plaguelands that converts health into mana, just like a Warlock's Life Tap. Only, if you use it on a low level character and don't have enough health to convert, you just die. There are only a handful of items in the game that can actually allow you to kill yourself, most of which are no longer obtainable. The engineering Nitro Boots Belt Enchant used to have a malfunction that put a dawn on you that would kill you. This would happen so often that it was often joke. Guys, I think something might be wrong with the fuel leaking device. It sometimes malfunctions and boosts my speed. It's been nerfed several times to longer kill you though. Or buffed, depending on how you look at it. The offhand weapon, Skull of Impending Doom, would give you a 60% speed boost at the cost of 60% of your health and mana over 10 seconds. And the quest item trinket, Crystal of Zin Malor, which would just give you a continuous damage to you while you had it on. These were two of the few items you could use to actually kill yourself. Neither is available in game anymore, but there is an item called Rasha's Sacrificial Dagger. That will insta-kill you if you're below level 90. Number 9, Falling Off Tedrasil. Before Cataclysm, there was a rogue quest in the Night Elf starting zone called Destiny Calls, which made you stealth up behind a Night Elf standing on a branch off the side of the giant ash tree that is Tedrasil. Because, for those of you who don't know, the entire Night Elf starting zone technically takes place either on top of or inside of a giant tree. If you weren't careful on this particular quest, you could fall off the tree to one of the longest falls to death in the game. Lots of new players just deleted their new Night Elves rather than get their body back after falling, since getting back was a huge hassle for those who were not smart enough just to take rest sickness. There are two other spots in the game a little higher up than the fall from Tetrasil. Hyjal and the Storm Peaks. So if you're looking for a glorious way to kill your character from a very high place, you can go to those two places without having to be a dirty alliance player. Number 8. Dying to a World Boss. Scenario. You're a level 5900 who just upgraded their expansion to Burning Crusade and are enjoying Outlands. Hellfire Peninsula is pretty neat. I especially like that demon fight at the entrance. Now let me get back to collecting boar ass for this quest. Then, suddenly, the ground shakes. What a weird earthquake! Your poor, retarded noob mind thinks as you continue killing the exciting fell boars. But the shaking gets more frequent, and you hear a weird sound every now and again, so you finally decide to look around. Only, it's too late. You're right in the path of the giant ass fell reaver, way out of your level. Oh crap! If only there was some way to avoid this encounter. Maybe some kind of ability that would make this giant ass robot of death ignore me. As if I was playing dead or something, but as far as I know, hunters don't have an ability like that. What if I try my chances at fighting it? So you fire a shot and send your gorilla in to tank for you, but both you and Bubbles get one-shotted and die. I'll let you in on a little secret. This hypothetical situation happened to me, only I feigned death in front of it as it ran over me and killed me anyway. Number 7. Killed by Deathwing as some of you may or may not have known, all throughout Cataclysm, Deathwing could randomly show up in a zone and just murder everyone. It was one of the coolest things in the game, but was kinda annoying if it happened while you were on your way to a raid entrance to use Have Grip will travel to summon your whole raid there. You even got an achievement if you were lucky enough to get killed by Deathwing. Of course, you could also get the achievement later on in the expansion by just dying to either Spine or Madness of Deathwing. Number 6. Having either your zeppelin or ship despawn in the middle of the fatigue zone. In the earlier days of WoW, boats and zeppelins were not very safe for travel and had some very weird bugs associated to them. Ships outside of straight up teleporting 
were the only ways to get to other continents, and would basically take you out to the fatigue zone and then teleport you to another continent. But sometimes, the boat would teleport without the passengers and just drop them deep into the fatigue zone. It was impossible to actually get out of the fatigue zone without dying, and usually took two to three ghost runs to get your body to a safe location. Number 5. AFK Deaths Scenario. You're killing mobs in a level appropriate area and you're quite parched, so you decide to run away from all the mobs into an area you know nothing could possibly path into. And to be even more careful, you stealth. You go downstairs, get a drink of water, come back, and find that that one elite mob in the area just happened to path where you were, in the middle of nowhere, while stealth, on your Iron Man character, and you die. It almost seems like mobs will bend over backwards the path to your AFK location. Also, AFK flying. Say you want to fly to Thunder Bluff from Org to the Darkman Fair. You think, no biggie, I'll just set auto fly, tab out, check my emails or some shit, come back a minute later and you're flying against the edge of the world dying to fatigue. Speaking of fatigue, number 4, dying while already dead. Did you know you could die as a ghost? You still get fatigued while in ghost form and can die just as if you were alive. That's like some inception levels of death, since you just go back to the spirit healer and you get to look for your corpse again. Number 3, Death by Priest. Did you know, if say, you're running along the bridge to Ragnaros, and you leap of faith a fellow raid member next to the edge as they are also running and mid-jump, there's little they can do to not fall right off the edge of said bridge and die in the lava. Killing raid members with life grip takes some skill and practice, but can be pulled off as long as you're patient, and can catch a raider who isn't paying all that much attention on the run back to Zulkarak. I should also mention about how I used to kill myself with Shadow Word Death occasionally. You see, back in the day, by default, Shadow Word Death would do damage to you equal to the damage it did if it failed to kill your target. It also did extra damage if the target was below 20% health. So if facing off against a boss with massive damage debuffs like Halfus Wormbreaker in the Bastion of Twilight, I'd sometimes just kill myself by mistake during the execute phase. Fun times, Cataclysm. Number 2. Getting killed by your own faction. Unfortunate enough to play on a PvP realm because your friend raids on one and you joined his guild? Well, make sure you stay away from the Timeless Isle and Miss. There were people there who just loved to gank, and allowing yourself to become hostile with your own faction was like a wet dream for them. You can also accomplish the same feat with the mercenary mode in Ashran, but if you actually look like someone of the opposite factions, it's just not the same. Number 1. Dying to the Elevator Boss. The elevator boss has probably killed more players than any hard mode boss Blizzard has ever put in the game. Did you know Blizzard even tracks how many times you died in the elevator boss in Blackwing Descent? Of course, that wasn't the only elevator boss in the game. The original elevator of death was Serpentine Caverns. But even earlier than that would be the Undercity elevators. In order to get to Undercity, you have to take an elevator. And those puppies are fast. One misstep back in the day and you fell to your death. But really, anywhere that has an elevator like Thunder Bluff or Old Thousand Needles claim lives to the impatient and the laggy alike. 